Chipper tracking a couple of showers and a redeveloping across the area right now uh, through parts of southern Gallatin County and into Hardin County as well. Continuing to see uh, some uh, showers make their way southward. These are just to the east of Route 34, uh, likely going to move into, say, Rosa Claire, Elizabethtown. You guys are going to see yet another round of some light rain move through here over the next hour. And a couple more showers farther northward, one just to the west of North City. That's right uh, to the north and west of Highway 45 and just east of Broughton and a couple of more. Um, say just to the northwest of Carmi. Everything this morning uh, pretty much tracking from the north to the south. So Omaha and eventually say over towards the Ridgeway area likely will pick up on a couple more showers. Most of what we're tracking is tied to this big upper level low and you can see the little swirl in the atmosphere just to our east. We're on the back side of that. So there's some of those showers around. Once again, uh, most of what we're going to see through the rest of today will be east of I-57 and east of I-24. And if I just pull up satellite here, you might be able to see that upper level low just a little bit better. More rain just to our east, uh, say over towards um, uh, just north of Bowling Green, Kentucky, and just east and southeast of Evansville in that area of low pressure. Everything kind of circulating around that. That area of low pressure is just not going to move very much over the next few days. So these little pop-up showers that we're dealing with right now, they're in our forecast through much of this week. Uh, checking in outside, though, live views uh, showing some clouds out there. We do have some breaks in those clouds, which has allowed temperatures to quickly climb back up. Uh, most of us right now into the mid to upper 70, 76 in Carbondale, 78 in Mount Vernon, 73 in Cape. That's not too bad, but then you factor in that it's extremely muggy. Dew points are in the upper 60s, even a few spots seeing dew points this morning, right about 70 degrees. So I'm sure you've noticed the bump up in humidity the last couple of days. A couple of isolated showers still possible this afternoon and really staying with us each afternoon this week. The highest rain chances will come during the heat of the day and will be primarily focused across southeast Illinois and parts of western Kentucky. And that humidity, uh, it's here to stay. Uh, not much of a break at least not through this week. There's that area of low pressure. Most of the big time storms well to our south right along the Gulf Coast. We we're just getting some of that wrap around tropical moisture and it will be with us through this afternoon. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s. North breeze running about 10 miles per hour and there's the little pop up showers we're talking about across southeastern Illinois. They fade away pretty quickly after the sun goes down tomorrow morning, waking up in the mid 60s again and then tomorrow afternoon we're right back into the mid 80s and there still is a chance for a couple of those pop up showers hours um, through the afternoon hours. That's because this big area of low pressure notice. Well, this is through Thursday and not much movement on that. And uh, that does mean that those pop up showers will be focused in some of our eastern counties. Quarter to a half an inch uh, through, say, Gallatin and Hardin County is what we're forecasting right now. Farther west. Well, the chances of rain get much lower. In fact, I wouldn't be surprising at all if areas west of the Mississippi River don't see any rain the rest of this week. So a couple scattered showers around through this afternoon, isolated showers pretty much each afternoon through the rest of this week. Brooke, we're officially going to welcome in summer on a Wednesday with the solstice and the longest day of the year. Pattern finally starts to break down just a bit into the weekend and by Saturday and Sunday, temperatures back near 90. A few more scattered storms possible by Sunday afternoon. Hey, we really need the rain. So I was happy about it yesterday, even though I'm not a farmer or a gardener. I mean, we just need it. So. But have you noticed it really pushed that humidity up? That's a little for sure. bit. Yeah, the hair's feeling it. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks, Nick.